Hello, this is Glenn Lennox. Amazing to see, and he lives on campus, and uh, he was always on the ball, and you could call him 24 hours a day, and he'd come, whatever the problem was. And uh, the man they have now, who's head of maintenance, uh, Rodney, is um, really good now. I mean, they got a prize when they got him. I don't know where they found him, but they got a prize. <laughs> We're speaking today with 43-year-long Glen Lennox fixture, Rosalie Radcliffe. A well-known face in the neighborhood, Rosalie has had the privilege of witnessing so many seasons come and go here, and because of that, holds a special connection along with a unique perspective on the community. Please join us for another episode of Hello, Glen Lennox, as Rosalie shares some of that unique experience with us today. I'm originally from Pennsylvania, and I lived at two different addresses at Glen Lennox, one Flemington and one Hamilton. Then I just, when I retired, I liked the area and I had doctors and things in that area. So I just stayed. My dentist was there and uh, my hairdresser was there and uh, there at the Glen Lennox Shopping Center. And uh, I used to go to one of the restaurants that was there uh, quite regularly. There was also a mall that was just a block and a half away uh, within walking distance, really, if I could walk. And uh, that was um, a regular mall with lots of stores, all kinds of things. There's a grocery store and what have you. It's beautiful. And uh, they keep the grounds nicely. And uh, the flowers are just gorgeous, and the hedges and everything, and they do a good job of mowing the grass and everything. It's, it's really, the grounds are kept up really well. There's a little park right across from my apartment, my current apartment, and uh, it has a bench swing and uh, a wall, a little wall around it, and a flagstone um, floor. And I like to sit there and rock in the swing. They have a thing there that if you've been there so long, you get a reduction on your rent. And that has helped a great deal, um, the reduction, uh, because I've been there so long. <laughs> but um, it adds up. But even if I had to pay full price, it wouldn't be unusual for this area at all. I just feel that I've always gotten my money's worth. When I moved, I just moved around the corner. And so I shared the same backyard. And um, the uh, former apartment that I lived there in Flemington uh, had a sandbox for children and a clothesline. And um, it was really very handy. Uh, especially seeing the children play out in the sandbox. And it got noisy sometimes, but, oh, well, children are children. <laughs> and uh, I've had some nice neighbors. The variety of people, I think, is probably the most important thing. You don't get that very often in apartment houses. Thanks for listening to this episode of Hello, Glen Lennox, a series we've created to explore the rich history of the beloved Chapel Hill neighborhood and the important role it played in the forming of the town we know today. To listen to other Hello Glen Lennox episodes, or to see what's new in the neighborhood, click the What's Happening link at glenlennoxvision.com.